Some 100 fashion houses have once again descended on Paris to reveal their ready-to-wear collections for next autumn and winter. Creativity is, as ever, key, but so too is an awareness of what's come before. And then aside from the clothes themselves, it's important to create a buzz around your brand. Nothing does that better than a sprinkling of star power. But for all its excitement, this fashion season will be marked by the recent passing of fashion powerhouse Karl Lagerfeld. Dior's creative director, Maria Grazia Curie, knew him well. He was so iconic. Uh, uh, creative director. He was the first creative director. Uh, and is, uh, I'm sad, but I'm very happy that he lives her life uh, in a way that he would like to live. Uh, and that's, I think, is the best thing that the person can do in, in the life. And at the same time, uh, uh, this moment uh, is a big reflection about the future. You have to understand, uh, like fashion, come in the future. So was a moment to reflection. Knowing how to model the future requires an intimate knowledge of the past. Dior for one is still very attached to its iconic bar jacket, created over 60 years ago. For next winter's silhouettes, Curie drew inspiration from the London underground scene in the 1950s. Think teddy girl leather jackets with sportswear fabrics. There's also some tartan. The decor, meanwhile, is inspired by a reimagining of the ABC by Italian feminist artist Tommaso Binga. I think um, what Dior is doing is a really important step and a change in fashion. It, it's, it's, I think her message is she's doing beautiful work, the, the clothes are beautiful, but they come from somewhere, they come from an idea, and that idea is, is female strength female equality, um, which I think is important because we still don't have gender equality in the world. The battle for gender equality is not yet won, but let's not forget fashion is first and foremost an industry. I love what Maria Grazia is doing. I think it's perfectly suited to our times. And I'm not alone. The clients all agree. That's why they come into our shops and buy these dresses. Cochet, the young label directed by Christelle Cochet, is also doing well. She embraces the language and codes of streetwear. Low-key style is king. This collection was inspired by football shirts. This energy comes from sport, from fashion, and from the women around me who inspire me. Fashion is about openness. Sport is about the same thing. I really believe in sport and fashion for their ability to make a positive impact. Cochet revealed its collection in a sports arena. A show setting needs to reflect the values of the brand. Only logical then that Simon Pontjacmus revealed his latest offering against the backdrop of a Provençal market. The decor is amazing. It immediately makes you think of Marseille, of Martigues, of the south of France. And that's where we all want to be. The collection is amazingly constructed. A lot of work has gone into the clothes. And at the same time, everything seems so fluid and natural. Everything falls really well. At a show like this, it's impossible for her not to think of Karl Lagerfeld. This evening I thought of him. He's the one who discovered Jack Mus. He found out about Simon Porte really early on. He's probably one of the first people who spoke to me about Jack Mus. Lagerfeld had a great eye and he was really fond of him. There are certainly worse mentors to have. Right opposite the Eiffel Tower, an intriguing mirrored enclosure where Dior likes to keep things discreet, erecting a tent in the garden of the Rodin Museum away from prying eyes, Saint Laurent wants to be seen by everybody and anybody. The label's 40 star guests were immersed in a moody decor, complete with pulsing electro and flashing lights. It's psychedelic. Psychedelic. It's got a real 70s feel. Yeah, it's really strong. It feels modern. And I really like the touches of color at the end. And those amazing legs. It was so beautiful. It made me think, with those amazing legs, of the man who loved women by François Truffaut. 
Yeah. The legs were like a pair of compasses, like scissors. <laughs> I keep asking Papa Noel every Christmas for the long legs, but they don't come. So it's nice to see them on, on other people. The shoes made the long legs. They were huge, the shoes. The shoes were very sexy. I hope they, they are a little bit comfortable. OK, I hope they are not too torturous, because they are beautiful. I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, this light show was very hallucinatory, very hypnotizing. But I liked it. I liked the, the glow-in-the-dark clothing. I'm not the best critic of fashion, but I thought it was stylish, very stylish. No bad thing. After all, style never goes out of fashion.